Bonjour, salut! Ah, c'est Nicolas Angour, votre prof de français. Nous avons toujours des leçons à apprendre. Hey, it's Mr. Nick. That's your French teacher again. We still have lessons to learn. We're going to continue with chapter 5 material. On va continuer avec uh, uh, les choses dans uh, le chapitre 5. We're going to continue with chapter 5 material. Big news, big news. Black markers. They had some at Walmart. What? I mean, they had a pack of a whole bunch of other colors, and I didn't want all the other colors, but they had some blacks in it, so I took it. So I got some black markers now. I'm happy. Little things make me happy. So, today we are going to talk about the verb aller, and more specifically, a pronoun that goes with the verb aller. So, just remind yourselves that this is the verb aller. Aller means to go. Je vais. Tu vas, il va, elle va. Whoa, look at that. I got my shadow all up in the way. Wow. Okay, so. Uh, il va, elle va, on va. Nous allons, vous allez. Et ils vont and elles vont. So I'm going. You're going. He's going. She's going. We're going. Y'all are going. They're going. Okay, so that's the verb to go. And remember, it can be that we're going to a place. Did you print out your list yet? Uh, this is on my teacher webpage. Go down to the description. I have a teacher webpage. I've got all the videos linked. I've got little assignments that are with each video. And one of the assignments has this page that you can print out. Okay, so now, uh, if you can't print it out, leave me a note. Hey, Mr. Nick, I can't print it out. We'll find a way to get it for you. We'll figure something out, okay? But. There's this thing right there that you're going to need this, especially for some other assignments and for today's assignment. It's going to have a little assignment with it today. So you can say, I'm going to a place. So this is a list of places. So if I want to say, for example, I'm going to uh, the library. I'm going to the library. One of these days, the library will open up and I can go and start checking some books out again. Woo, I want to go to the library. I can't wait for that. But if I want to go to the library, I would say, je vais à la bibliothèque, à la bibliothèque, so à la to the library, that's another video that I did, or maybe I wanted to say I'm going to the stadium, I'm going to go do you know, a couple of laps around, been getting some exercise in ever since, you know, we're on the confinement, so I had time to do exercise, plenty of time to shave, but I didn't shave, oh, won't shave again until we come back to school, or I get to go to church, that's one of the two things that's a promise of, anyway, I want to go to the stadium to do some exercise, so je vais, Je vais, I'm going, and then to the stadium. Stadium is masculine, so I wouldn't say à le stade. I would say au stade. But that's in another video where we have to say to the, and we use à plus a definite article for another video. All right? So make sure you go back and you watch those videos on how to do that part of it. Now, there's what we're going to do today is talk about a pronoun uh, called... Well, the pronoun is uh, the word E. It's only one letter. There's one letter, but it's a whole word. It's pronounced E. There it is right there. E. Pronounced E, and it means there, roughly speaking. Now, when we're going to get into chapter 14, we're going to learn some more stuff about that. There's more to say about it than I'm going to be saying today. For today's lesson, the only thing we're worried about is that it says there. It replaces, it takes the place of, that's what a pronoun does, it replaces the location where you're going. And we're going to talk today about how we use that. But you'll be able to see that in a sentence, if I can move this out of the way, in a sentence, you might have, for example, tu vas au café, you're going to the café. O is to the, O is a and le together, to the café. Are you going to the café? And the answer is, oui, j'y vais, j'y vais. I'm going there, I'm going there, okay? Et Laurent, il va aussi. Il va. Il va. Laurent, il va. Laurent is going there too. So, the word cafe, that's the name of the place. Let me use my black marker. 
O Cafe, that's the location. That's what E stands for. The letter E, that Y, takes the place of all of that. The letter Y stands for the location where we're going. Tu vas au café, so what's the location? To the café. Oui, j'y vais. Yes, I'm going there. So instead of saying, I'm going to the café, instead of saying, yes, I'm going to the café, we're saying, yes, I'm going there. And Laurent is going there also. So instead of saying, and Laurent is going to the café, we just say Laurent is going there. All right, so that's the basic idea of what we're doing right here with this E. Now I'm going to turn off my projector, and then we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about that. Okay, so get the projector off. Voila! So, the basic thing that we want to know about the pronoun E Pronounce E, and it's a pronoun. It replaces the location where you're going. It replaces the location where you're going. The location where you're going, where Laurent is going, where they're going, whatever. The place where a person is going. It replaces the location. So we don't have to always say things like, I went to the mall this past weekend, and when I was at the mall, I saw a whole bunch of people who weren't supposed to be there because we're all in lockdown. But at the mall, it's so much fun to go to the mall because the mall is such a great place. The mall has got all these stores. The mall has got clothing stores. The mall has got food stores. The mall has got electronic stores, the mall is the great place. So instead of saying the mall, the mall, the mall, the mall, we have to say, hey, listen, I went to the mall this weekend. When I went there, I saw a whole bunch of people there. Um, at the mall, they were shopping for electronics there. So instead of saying the mall, the mall, the mall, it helps me to just get rid of that stuff. Pronoun E. Now, it's going to come in front of the verb, ale, in front. This is where we place it has to be. In English, it's kind of weird because in English, the word there goes afterwards. So let me give an example. So in English, I'd say, are you going to the game? Are you going to the game? All right, so in French, we would say, to Va. Oh, wait, I didn't put anything for the R. Because I don't need to. Because the R and the going are working together. Okay? Now, I could have, if I get nervous because there's nothing for that R, I could have said esca. Esca tu va. But I don't need to say esca. I can just do tu va. And then to the game. And then in that other video, we learned that to say to the game is a and then le match. Le match. But when I have a, le match, the a and the le become o. Tu vas au match. All right. So, great question. Are you going to the game? Now, I've, I've named the place. Are you going to the game? Now, I could say, yeah, I'm going to the game. I could say, yeah, I'm going to the game. I could say, yes, I'm going. We just go straight in French. I'm not going to do it in, in English. Yes, I'm going to the game. So, I could just say, we, oui, je vais au match. I could say, je vais au match, je vais au match. Oui, je vais au match. And that would be fine. I've named the place again. So the question said, tu vas au match? Oui, je vais au match. What if I didn't want to say to the game 
a second time. So I wanted it to sound like this. Hey, are you going to the game? Yeah, I'm going there. Notice I didn't say I'm going to the game. I said I'm going there. Yeah, I'm going there. So if I wanted to not say to the game, if I wanted to not say to the game, I would have to replace it with the letter Y. So this O match would get replaced by the letter Y, which is pronounced E. However, I cannot leave it there. That's not where it goes. It's going to go in front of the verb. I've actually got to move it in front of the verb. So this would become we, ji, ve. Yes, I'm going, now I'm still going to, in English, I'm still going to say, yes, I'm going there. In English, I still put the there after the verb, but in French, I moved it in front of the verb. We, ji, ve. Now, last little thing. Because this sounds like a vowel, it's pronounced e, then I have to put J apostrophe, j'y vais, j'y vais, oui, j'y vais. Now, okay, here's the thing though. In English, this would sound more like what I really would have said. I've said, hey, are you going to the game? Yeah, I'm going. You notice in English, I didn't say I'm going there. The natural, normal flow of English would have just been, yeah, I'm going. Je vais means I'm going. I can't do it in French. I can't. I don't know why. But in French, I either have to say I'm going to the game, au match, or I have to say I'm going there, j'y vais. In French, I must either say je vais au match, Or I must say, j'y vais. I cannot simply say, je vais, without putting the O match. I cannot say, je vais, without putting the E. I have to put one of those two. I don't know why. It's just required. Okay? So I've got to have one of those two in the place. And it will go, if I'm using my pronoun, E, it'll go in front of the verb. If I'm using the place, I'm actually naming the place. I'm not saying there. I'm going there. If I'm not saying there, I'm actually naming the location of the place. It'll go after the verb. Je vais au match. I'm going to the game. J'y vais. I'm going there. But in English, I can get away with just saying I'm going. I can just say I'm going. In French, I have to put that E or I have to name the place. Uh, frustrating because we're thinking in our heads some English sentences and then we want to write them in French and there's little things that just get in the way to make it far from being perfect. Okay? So let's look at some practice. So what you're going to do is you're going to do some practice sentences and you need to come up with the locations and really you can be creative with locations if you want but there's a list of locations that I suggest that you use. But let's look and see how you're going to do your assignment. So you're going to practice. You're going to practice by saying a question. I am going to the blank. I am going
at blank o'clock. Just very simple, easy sentences. You pick your place. I want you to pick different places. For all of the sentences that you're going to have to do, I want different places. You can't always be going to the game in every sentence. You can't go to school in every sentence. You can't go to the mall in every sentence. You can't go to the woods. You have to mix it up and have all different places. So you're going to say, I am going to the blank, and you pick a place. So let's pick a place. Let's say you're going to the museum. I am going to the museum. So you would, this idea, in French, you would write, I am going to the museum. So you would write, je vais, je vais, so we're practicing the verb aller, to the museum. So a, this is in slow motion, don't write this down yet. A, and then musée. And so we say that second, hang on a second, how do I say musée? And we see that musée on this list, if you look over here on this list, musée is masculine. So I have a, le musée. But I can't do a, le musée. A and le has to get changed to au musée. Okay? So, je vais au musée. Now the next sentence is going to say, what time are you going there? So you're going to the museum at what time? I'm going at blank o'clock. Now the there is in parentheses because in English I don't have to put it. In English I could just say, I'm going to the museum, I'm going at 8 o'clock. In English I could also say, I'm going to the museum, I'm going there at 8 o'clock. In French, I must put the there in French. I don't have a choice. I have to name the place. Either I'm going to have to say, I'm going to the museum, I'm going to the museum at 8 o'clock. Or, I'm going to the museum, I'm going there at 8 o'clock. I have to put it in. So we're practicing with the pronoun E. So this is where we're going to practice with that pronoun we're just talking about today. So you would write, Je vais this is in slow motion. E a wheat er. Now, so I am going there, but what did we just learn about that E? Can it stay here? No. It has to get moved over here, right? So that there gets moved. Where is it located? In front of the verb. All right. So you're going to do some sentences that are like this. I'm going to the blank. I'm going there at blank o'clock. All right. So really easy sentences just to practice the verb ale and to practice putting that pronoun e in there. Let's try another one. <clears throat> so you're going to do one with je, and you say I'm going. You're going to do a sentence with you. You're going to say you're going to the blank. You're going at blank o'clock. So you're going to write a sentence that says you are going to the you're going to the blank, you're going at blank o'clock. You're going there at blank o'clock. So then how do I say you are going? I say tu va, tu va, so we're practicing the verb ale, tu va. And let's pick, uh, let's say you're going to the beach. You're going to the beach. So just pick something off my list here, going to the beach. So to the beach is a, a and then plage. And is plage masculine or feminine? Is it le plage or la plage? It is, oop, look at that, la plage. So a la plage. Do I change a and la from that other video? If you're going back to watch it. 
don't change Allah. Allah stays. It does not change to O. Only A-L-U changes to O. And a l -E changes to O-A-U-X. Okay, in that other video. So tu vas à la plage. <clears throat> now I want to say, you're going there at blank o'clock. You're going, I either have to say, you're going to the beach. You're going to the beach at four o'clock. Or I have to say in French, you're going to the beach. You're going there at four o'clock. In French, I cannot say, you're going to the beach. You're going at four o'clock. I either have to say you're going to the beach or you're going there. That's my choice, right? So you're going, so tu va there and then at four o'clock. Alright, tu vas e there. Can I leave that letter e? Can I leave the pronoun there in French? No. This cannot be right here. Even though it comes after the verb in English, the word there, it says going there in English. In French, I have to move it in front of the verb. Now here, we don't put the little apostrophe. Remember, we talked about that with tu or l. You know, we don't take the u off of tu or the e off of l. Um, we keep that. Je, we do the apostrophe. So it'd be j vais. But tu y va. Tu y va à quatre heures. Tu y va à quatre heures. All right. So that's what you're going to do, except you're going to do sentences with. You're going to do. You cannot go to the, where do we go? Museum. You can't go to the museum, you can't go to the beach. You've got to find six other places. You're going to do a sentence that says, I am going to the blank. I am going at blank at o'clock. You're going to do one that says, you are going, he is going, we are going, y'all are going, they are going. So you're going to do six pairs of sentences. You're going to write one with the subject I. I am going to the blank, I'm going there at blank o'clock. You're going to the blank. You're going there at eight o'clock, whatever o'clock. He's going to the blank. Or you could say she. If you want to name somebody, Nick is going, uh, Anne is going, whatever, is going to the blank. Nick is going there at blank o'clock. We're going to the blank. We're going there at blank o'clock. Y'all are going to the blank. Y'all are going there at blank o'clock. They're going to the blank. They're going there at blank o'clock. So, it's six sentences that you're doing. That is your assignment. You type them in the comment box, and I'll look at them, check them out to make sure they're going okay. All right, a couple of small, minor things. Okay, for that assignment, don't forget, you have to use six different places, six different places. I don't care if it's six different times. You could use the same time of the day every, in every one of them, but six different places. What if I want to say I'm not going to a place? I'm not going to a place. So like, for example, hey, are you going to uh, the concert? Are you going to the concert? Ah, I ain't going to a concert. People might be over there with no mask, no gloves. I'm not going to the concert. I'm not risking that. All right, so are you going to the concert? So tu vas au concert? Tu vas, tu vas au concert, tu vas au concert, and then you want to say, no, I'm not going. Now, you have a choice of uh, saying either, no, I'm not going to the concert, I'm not going to the concert, which would look like this, je ne vais pas au concert. Je ne vais pas au concert. Are you going to the concert? I'm not going to the concert. Now, what if I didn't want to say, I'm not going to the concert. What if I just want to say, I'm not going. All 
And I took that off. Je ne vais pas. I'm not going. Can I do that? No. I cannot fail to include the location. I eat in French. I either have to say, I'm not going to the concert, or I have to say, I'm not going there. In French, I have to say, I'm not going to the concert. Je ne vais pas au concert. Or I have to say, I'm not going there. That's what I have to do in French. I either have to say au concert, to the concert, name the, actually name the place, or I can use the pronoun e. Can I leave that e there? Where does it go? In front of the verb. Is that a verb? Ne pas. Is that a verb? They. Is that a verb? That's a verb. So my E has to get moved in front of the verb. The E has to get moved in front of the verb. So I would have je ne vais pas. Je n'y vais pas. Je n'y vais pas. So, je n'y vais pas. If I want to say, you're not going. You're not going. That would be, tu n'y va pas. N'y va. The E, the letter Y, E goes inside the ne pas, right in front of the verb. Inside the ne pas, right in front of the verb. Okay? Or how about il ni va pas? Okay? So, je ni vais pas. I'm not going there. Tu ni va pas. You're not going there. Il ni va pas. He's not going there. So, ma ne pas goes around the pronoun e and the verb. So, here's what it looks like. It's like this. No. Looks like no, and then e, and then the verb ale, and then pa. Now I said the verb ale, but ale gets conjugated, so this would be. Je n'y vais pas. Tu n'y vas pas. Il n'y va pas. Nous y allons pas. Vous y allez pas. Ils y vont pas. So, here, my pronoun E goes inside my ne ma pas, right next to my verb, which would get conjugated. Okay? Very last thing. There are some expressions. The very first video I did for chapter 5, the First chapter five video. I think this is the fifth one, maybe, or sixth one. Anyway, on the very first video, I introduced some expressions. J'y vais. It's a sentence that's used all the time in French. J'y vais just means I'm, I'm going. Oui, oui, j'y vais. J'y vais. Hey, are you going to Blake? Wherever are you going, whatever. Oui, j'y vais. J'y vais. Or we had some other expressions like vazi. Vazi means go. Just go. Go do it. Vazi. Go do it. Go do it. Whatever it is. Vazi. Go. Go do it. Now, you'll notice that I put the letter E after the verb. This is because it's a command sentence and I've got my dash. So this is kind of special. This is an imperative. Vazi, go. Vazi, you can do it. Vazi, go for it. Vazi. Or, on y va. On y va. On y va. On y va means let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay? On y va. Vazi. <clears throat> on, vazi, on y va. 
Vazi is go, you go do it. Oni va is let's go do it. Or we might say, allons y. Both of those would mean let's go. So vazi, I'm saying to you, vazi, vazi, you go, you do it. Va, vazi, go, talking to you. Oni va and allons y mean let's go. Let's go, allons, allons, allons y, allons y, let's go. On y va, let's go. Now there's also allez-y, allez-y, which would mean uh, like y'all go or the formal you. I'm not going to worry about that one too much, allez-y, all right, but it's like the formal you, allez-y. You go, sir. You go, ma'am. Or y'all go. But let's not worry about that one too much. So, j'y vais is I'm going, I'm going there. Oui, j'y vais. Hey, are you going to go to the game tonight? Oui, j'y vais. Oui, j'y vais. Or je ne vais pas. Je n'y vais pas. Je n'y vais pas. I'm not going. Okay. Vas-y. Vas-y. Allez, vas-y. Vas-y. Hein? Vas-y. Go. Vas-y. Go. Go do it. Go do whatever it is. Vas-y. And then, on y va, let's go, and allons-y, let's go. So that's just some little expressions that we have that are in French. Okay, so you have an assignment with this video, the assignment of those sentences that say, I'm going to the blank. I'm going at blank o'clock. You're going to the blank. You're going at blank o'clock. He's going to the blank. He's going at blank o'clock. We're going to the blank. We're going at blank o'clock. Y'all are going to the blank. They're going at blank o'clock. They're going to the blank. They're going at blank o'clock. Type them up in the comments. If you want to email them to me instead of putting in the comments, that's cool. You can email me as well. Let me go ahead and put the email address down. So you should better get this right, but in case you don't know, my email address is nicholas.jogno. At E P S B Evangeline E Parish P School S Board B E P S B All right, so email me the answers if you don't want to put them in the comments and you don't want other people to see them or whatever. That's that's cool. I'll look at them there. We're going to have another video with this that's going to be like a wrap-up video uh, that we're going to do. It'll be the last one for this chapter. We're not going to be back this school year. I'm